The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has told the climate summit that mankind is primarily to blame for global warming. However, 150 scientists have signed an open letter demanding hard evidence that rapid climate change is being caused by man and not nature. RT's Laura Emmett visited the Global Warming Skeptics Seminar on the summit sidelines. Throwing down the gauntlet, skeptics have issued a climate challenge, an open letter to the United Nations requesting scientific evidence man is causing dangerous climate change. Tom Harris of the International Climate Science Coalition is behind it. We hear constantly from the United Nations, the time for debate is over. The science is settled. We have to take extreme action to prevent catastrophe. But what many of the scientists in the world are saying is the science is really just beginning, uh, that this is a very immature field, and it's in a field of what, it's in an era of negative discovery. In other words, the more we learn, the more we realize we don't understand. The letters signed by 150 top climate scientists. They request demonstrative proof on 10 points, ranging from variations in climate to the frequency of storms. Some of them object to the science behind climate change, but some just don't think the UN's revealed enough data to justify the radical approach to carbon emissions represented by the Copenhagen conference. They are dismissing a very complex and beautiful picture of interdisciplinary, uh, interrelated science. So I think the climate movement has taken us back a thousand years. These skeptics say they're as green as the next man. They don't like pollution and they advocate finding alternatives to fossil fuels. But they insist carbon dioxide is not a pollutant and that market forces should dictate the development of renewable energy sources, not restrictive government policy. The fossil fuel age will end, sure as night follows day, because we have better technology. It is coming, and one of the things that I'm very keen about is to make sure we have a clean environment. The scientists say they're not trying to provoke a row with the UN experts. What we're trying to do is open a third way, where it's a more rational way, where we ask questions, we share information back and forth, and we come to conclusions that we believe, really believe, will benefit the environment and society. It's in this unlikely-looking setting that the climate change skeptics are holding their alternative meeting. It's a far cry from the 15,000-strong conference just a few kilometres down the road. But the influence of this alternative movement is growing, and this direct request for information ups the ante. The sceptics say they'll keep pushing until they get an answer. Laura Emmett, RT.